So for lab this week, we're going to use data BC to get some of the data layers that we need. Data BC is a repository for lots of different types of data across the province. It will probably be a good resource uh, for you when you're working on your final project. Um, so <clears throat> I'm just going to walk you through an example of how to find the roads data. So you go to the data BC site, which is linked in the lab. In the search bar, just type roads. And then there will be a couple different ones. Um, you want to choose Digital Roads Atlas, the master partial, partially attributed roads. Um, so you'll click on that, and it will take you on to uh, the next page. And so here you can see uh, how to download the data and just some information about it. So it tells you what the data is. Um, to download it, you'll follow this link. I'll walk you through that in just a second. You can preview it here, so you can see the different road types, for instance. Uh, and then there is additional information, so that's metadata, for instance. Um, so it says when it was published, when it was last modified, uh, and then the object description, so the various uh, different columns that are in the data set. It has the name, short name, uh, what data type, precision, and some comments, so different different things uh, explaining about each record. So it's important to look at the descriptions and the metadata every time you download any data set. So to download the data, we're going to go click the Explore and then the Access and Download button. This will bring up a second window. Now, um, you want to make sure that you use the BC Albers coordinate system. Uh, the other data that we're working with in the lab is also in BC Albers, and uh, so it's important to make sure that all of the data sets are in the same projection. Uh, you're going to choose uh, ArcView Shape, so that's like an, a shape file. And then under Area of Interest, you're going to choose Map Sheet. You'll notice here uh, this percent of max, right? It says 150%. So if, Right now, it's trying to download all the data for the whole province. Um, that's actually 150% of the maximum allowable download size. So it's saying that this file is too big. Um, but we're only working with data for Port Alberni, so we don't need the full province worth of data. So we want to cut it down by a specific area of interest. We're going to choose map sheet. And so in order to filter it, we have to enter a map sheet number. So map sheet number just refers to the National Topographic System Index map, which is a grid that was designed to divide up the whole country and be a quick way to reference and index the topographic maps for the country. If you want to download the map sheet boundaries, you can click this link, which will take you here. And this, this link is in the lab instructions, in, which will take you here. And you can download the data as a shapefile. Or if you just want to view it in the map, you can click this link and view it here. You'll see the whole country is divided up into map sheets starting with number 000 and going up to number 119. You'll see Vancouver Island is in block 092. And we'll zoom in on it a little bit more. And we can see that Port Alberni specifically is in block 092F. And for downloading the roads data, it's sufficient to just filter by this block 092F. But if you want to download a larger data set like a DEM, you actually have to get down to the specific block number. And so if we wanted to download the DEMs for Port Alberti, we'd need both 092F02 and F07. And you'd have to download them separately and then mosaic them together. But I've already done that for you and provided it for you here in the lab. So again, make sure you select map sheet. And then to filter it, you said, uh, 092F was sufficient. And then you click clipping on, select use map sheet, and you'll see that percent of max now goes down to 3%. So it's much smaller, and therefore you can download it. Then just type in your email address here, make sure you agree to the terms and conditions, and then you should be able to submit your order. Uh, so I'm not going to do that because I've already downloaded the data set, but 